Zeus can definitely go to the bench yeah, for a couple of years. For sure. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of Zeus. Speaking of Zeus. Record of Ragnarok. Record of Yeah. Shit the timeline said. Let's talk about it. Yes. Shit the timeline said was talking shit. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh. Have you did you see anything? You catch any clips? Um, I watched up to episode three. Okay. You got further than I. Did I? Yeah. I saw episode one. Yeah. And it wasn't as bad. Mm-hmm. Manga could have been better, maybe, but I didn't think that it was worthy of the name calling that I kept seeing on social media. Episode one, it was like the introduction. Yeah, you know, we saw whatever her, her name was. Uh, now with the Netflix, I saw that they were having the little squares introducing the characters, but they wouldn't name them. Like there was no subtitles. It could have been where I was watching it. Okay, where were you watching it on Netflix? Like, right? like on Netflix. I'm just saying, like I watched, it, I watched it on my phone, so oh. it, there might have been not space. Okay, I don't know how. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just trying to figure out why I didn't come up with the names. But um, nevertheless, episode two, and it just started dragging. Mm. And I, I don't think I even got to the point where it, the fight wasn't interesting enough to me to keep watching it. Mm-hmm. And if people kept saying that it was going to get even worse, then I you know, I, I want to make sure that if I watch something, I don't want to watch it just to trash it. Exactly. That's why you I kind of fell off. Yeah. And, I, you mm-hmm. know, and if you're saying the manga is much better, I'd rather just read that instead. Yeah. And maybe that's a ploy. I feel like it's either one or two things. It's a ploy because people say, yo, the manga's better. Read the manga. And everybody's just going to flock to the manga instead. That's a lot of money for it to be a ploy. How? If you're making a PowerPoint presentation. Because Netflix doesn't get the money from that. Netflix only gets money from Netflix. They don't get money from manga sales. Right. But I'm saying, yeah, so why would I give a shit what Netflix does? The manga's better. The manga's better. Everybody's already talking about how the manga's so much better than the anime. Mm-hmm. I'm going to be the first one to go straight to the manga, to the Shonen Jump app, and if they get translated, you know, even better. But I'm going to go straight to the, to the app and see what everybody's talking about. I find so much flaw in that, in that logic. To see that, it was just trash. So, what, <laughs> so Netflix, how, like, what do they get out of it then? What do they get from this? Anime. Content. Conversation. Trash. Conversation. But, like, that's money they're spending, more than conversation. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's conversation, sure, whatever. They're dropping bags on this stuff. It's not, like, cheap to just make this. Well, you're not always going to get dope shit. You don't have to have dope shit, but why make purposely a bad piece of content? Uh, Again, I don't... I can only try to figure out why. And it's either, yo, they give they give new, no shits, or, or the other one was, when you think about it, right, the bar for, for like, really dope shows has been elevated... Beyond Imagination by shows like Demon Slayer, Jujutsu yeah. Kaisen, My Hero, and some of the other ones. Mm-hmm. Those shows, from a sales standpoint, do kind of crazy. Mm-hmm. And we saw the Oricon sales not too long ago, and I don't, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think Record of Ragnarok was on there. I don't think so. Right? Can't, I can't recall. Because it was, it was uh, JJK, uh, Demon Slayer. Like top three, top um, five, whatever. It was uh, Tokyo Revengers, it was Kingdom, it was One Piece. It was everything, and I don't recollect seeing record of ragnarok on there so maybe the shows that get the the push and all the love and all the attention are the ones that are already doing kind of crazy in manga sales and i think chainsaw man was in there too hmm. right i mean because house husband wasn't on there and but that's and netflix too it's like when netflix touches it they, they fuck it up but it, they think. don't they don't have any production shit on it like they're not the studio making it yeah but they are funding it which means that if I don't know that they're funding it. They're buying the they're buying the the license to to we show it. Look into this then. Huh? I, don't, I don't know. We should look into this then. I don't okay. know if they're funding it or buying it. Whatever. It seems like when things when these are announced, it's like there's the B stars route where it's like yo, they're buying the license, or there's what seems like the house husband route is like yo, they're producing it. I don't think they're producing it, man. I really I really don't think so, because I don't think that they. 
for the longest time, I think that they've never really ever produced any anime. I think what they do is they buy the rights to license it, and that's it. Like, Crunchyroll doesn't produce anything. They only buy licensing rights. The, the production and everything and all that back end of things are always going to be the studios like Madhouse, like fucking Studio Beam, Studio uh, fucking Bones, Production IG, whatever. Uh, and no, those guys, I feel like, would be the ones to take a lot of the L. So much so that I think even on Twitter, I saw a lot of people... Whenever something's really bad, I feel like all the nerd, all the crazy, the craziest part of the fandom was always going to give shit to the production team or whatever, mm-hmm. which were the ones that got the shit, not Netflix. Okay. And if Netflix was the one that produced the show, they would be the ones getting all the smoke from all the fans. But it didn't seem like that was the case. So I looked it up and said they're, they're just distributors. They don't produce it. Correct. But then why is it that the shit they keep putting hands on have this like shitty ass animation? Um, tell that to B-Stars. Tell that to Demon Slayer. So that's, uh, that's different. Now, not Tunataiza had one season that I think was really bad. Seven Deadly Sins. I'm sorry. There's a few of them there. They have JoJo on there. But that's different. These are things that already existed before Netflix. Like, things are going straight to Netflix. That's what I'm talking about. He's talking about Yasuke. Yasuke. We have the House Husband. Husband, this shit. So they just have a whack, a whack view for talent? Like, <laughs> I don't know. Like, it should be... Someone watching that shit on the stand or produce whatever it is, is like, yo, like this isn't really keeping up to standards. And like I'll see on um on YouTube people do like uh the trailer animated like for Chainsaw Man. It's like just the manga panels and it's so beautifully crafted and they kinda try to do it with the house husband type shit. Mm-hmm. House husband wasn't too bad, but this is like, bro, like you legit just like shot, shot and you like zoom into one panel, shot, shot, zoom into one like it's not even moving at that point. So it's like, I don't understand how you would not think that this probably wouldn't be exciting for a viewer. Yeah, I think that, yeah, I, I don't know how, um, I don't know how this made it through. I think it, it might have worked for things that are not action heavy. This is an action manga. This is an action this series. This is Record of Ragnarok. This is different. Like this, you need intense. You need to go crazy. You don't have to like soccer animation, but you need like crazy animation because the, the throwing hands is like the the hype and the the fun is from the battle this, that's all it is mm-hmm. so it's like for you to go so i don't know like for you to do so such a poor job on this is like you kind of disrespect me at this point point. and me being a manga reader i was excited for it i knew netflix was on it and i was like oh, i don't know and then it's like yeah you can't prove my point plus the studio who did it um they did a june with junji tyson or whatever something like that Juni tyson is that what it's called you don't want to tell me about the, the uh, manga i guess so yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the uh, anime for that was kind of trash too like was it? it started dipping at first it was cool idea cool animation whatever then it started dipping so it's like i don't this studio just can't do action anime i don't know what's going on mm. yeah it's unfortunate for sure yeah it's unfortunate but i mean the uh positive is that the manga got a lot of recognition out yeah. of it and yes. so for anybody that wants to consume the content like the way that it should be it seems like uh read the manga which yeah. is on the shonen jump app two dollars a month i think right Two, three dollars a month. Sunshine and Jump app? Yeah. It is. Oh. Right? I don't know. I didn't know that. I swear to God, yeah. On God, I, I... I don't know. No? I don't know. Okay. Maybe I'm bugging. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. You could be right. I don't know. I'm not, okay. not giving you an answer. All right. All right. All right. Whatever. But it's unfortunate, honestly. I felt, I felt really bad for the fans. Because I know that even you were uh, highly anticipating it. You, when you were the one to put me on, you were like, mm-hmm. yo, break it to Ragnarok. The tournament and Adam even, and Eve and whatever it was. Yeah. Like, even just like... Like some motion would be okay, but the fact that it was like stand, like, ah, uh, yeah, not not a good time. Not yeah, a good time. Yeah, very disappointing. Very disappointing. Very unfortunate. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Read the manga. Thank you guys for watching the clip. Thank if you, you liked what you saw, if you like what you heard, please subscribe to listen to our main episodes. We'll link it down below. Yes, sir. Peace. Peace. <laughs>